In a world driven by precision, statistical process control, or SBC, ensures that processes stay within acceptable limits, minimizing defects and maximizing productivity. It provides businesses with a structured approach to monitor, control, and improve quality. But what makes SBC so indispensable, and how does it work in real-world applications? Let's explore this powerful tool in detail. The Origins of Statistical Process Control SBC traces back to the 1920s when Dr. Walter A. Schuert, a physicist and statistician at Bell Telephone Laboratories, introduced control charts. His pioneering work marked the shift from inspection-based defect detection to proactive process control, laying the foundation for modern quality management systems. Later, W. Edwards Deming further developed and popularized SBC, integrating it into Japan's post-war industrial resurgence. Let's discuss the key concepts of SBC. Understanding variation. Every process has variations, but not all require corrective action. SBC helps distinguish between common cause variation. Normal fluctuations occur due to inherent factors in the process, for example, slight differences in machine speed or environmental conditions. Special cause variation. Unusual deviations are caused by specific, often fixable, problems, for example, a malfunctioning machine or human error. Identifying these early helps prevent defects. Control charts. It is the heart of SBC. These are visual tools that help track process data over time and highlight variations. Common types include XR chart, used to monitor the average and range of continuous data, such as product dimensions. P chart, tracks the proportion of defective items in a batch, useful for processes with pass or fail inspections. C chart, counts the number of defects per unit which is ideal for tracking errors in paperwork or manufacturing. Process capability. Measuring efficiency. This determines how well a process meets set specifications. Two key measures are CP process capability index. Compares the spread of the process output to the tolerance limits. A higher CP means the process is capable of producing within acceptable limits. CPK. Process Capability Index Adjusted for Centering Accounts for how well the process is centered within the specifications. A lower CPK indicates that the process may be off-target and needs adjustments. SBC and Six Sigma SBC is a fundamental part of Six Sigma, a methodology aimed at reducing defects to near zero. By controlling variations, SBC supports Six Sigma's goal of improving process efficiency and quality. I have discussed Six Sigma in detail in a separate video. Check the link in the description box. Please like the video that will be helpful for my channel. How SPC works, a step-by-step -step approach. Step one, identify key quality characteristics. Determine critical aspects of the process that impact product quality. Step two, select the appropriate control chart. Choose based on the data type that is continuous or discrete and process requirements. Step three, collect data and establish control limits. Gather real-time process data and define upper-lower control limits. Step four, analyze data and detect patterns. Identify trends, shifts, or irregularities in the control charts. Step five, take corrective actions. Investigate causes of special variations and implement corrective measures. Step six, continuous monitoring and improvement. SBC is an iterative process that promotes ongoing refinement and stability. Let's move on to real world applications of statistical process control. SBC is widely used across industries. Number one, manufacturing. Ensures consistency in mass production, reducing material waste and improving yield. Two, healthcare monitors patient health trends, medication dosages, and equipment performance for better patient outcomes. Three, service industry enhances efficiency in banking, logistics, and customer service by minimizing process errors. Four, 
software development, tracks software defects and process deviations to improve code quality and deployment reliability. The benefits of SPC. Cost reduction. Early detection of process issues prevents expensive rework and waste. Consistency and reliability. Helps maintain process stability, ensuring uniform output quality. Data-driven decision-making provides objective insights for process improvement. Regulatory compliance. It helps in meeting industry standards and certifications like ISO 9001 and FDA requirements. Challenges and misconceptions. Resistance to change. Employees may hesitate to adopt SBC due to unfamiliarity. Data misinterpretation. Incorrect analysis of control charts can lead to poor decision-making. Over-reliance on tools. SBC always supports, rather than replaces, stronger process management and operator expertise. SBC is more than just a statistical technique. It's a strategic approach to achieving superior quality and efficiency. By embedding SBC into their operational culture, organizations can detect problems early, reduce variation, and drive continuous improvement. If you want to read it in detail or download the PDF, go through the link in the description, and don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves.